hello YouTube and I'm back with you for a video today and this time we've got a Garrett metal detector now I went round my granddad's on a Sunday it was a, a, maybe like two weeks ago or something it might have been. it was about two weeks ago and he gave me a metal detector he's also gave me a train picture in like a glass thing but we're doing this um, video of a metal detector day now I'll just get it out um, and basically it's it's made by Garrett, the makes right there. And anyone who's got a metal detector or does metal detecting videos, if you're watching that, you'll know that most of probably your detectors are made by that. Uh, that it is an old one, and as you can probably tell by the thing there, oh, it always, um, the end of it here is broken, as you can see. The um, it has come unclipped from the end there. But we, my dad has managed to get hold of some glue so we can glue it back on. I have no idea if it even works. It is the Deep Scan Garrett TR Discriminator uh, Co-Planner Coil. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's not... It's actually... Uh, I'll put that there so we don't lose it. Um, it's not scratched up at all on the bottom, so it's not being rubbed along the ground or anything. Um, so that's... Uh, the coil it's um I don't know, it's not too big that's my hand compared to it so it's um it's not uh, it's just, i bet it's not it's probably like a medium probably could be a large size coil you can adjust uh the size of it you know those scooters that your kids ride they have that um adjustment thing on them well that's what this has got so you can adjust it so it says something on that sticker it says Supplied by Treasure Hunting Specialists Ltd. Uh, 66 Newtown Shopping Centre, Aston, Birmingham, B192SW, and then it's got a telephone number there. Um, it's the International S1. Uh, I believe the model then, it's made by Garrett, and the model must be the... TR discriminator and if we come around here I don't know why this wires on it um maybe it was hanging up maybe you used it to tie it up or something it's got the battery test one it's got no batteries in it so um obviously I have no idea if it works that's the it says disc but it says they're discriminate so uh, that's, that is a picture of a bottle top, and that's like a can opener. So I think what is, I, I, I think wait, if you select it to like a bottle top, it will when you're detecting it, you won't just be detecting trash such as bottle tops and cans and junk like that. So obviously, and it's got uh, the sensitivity, which is high and high and low. Uh, it's obviously on high. That's the tune. Um, it has the button on there. Oh, I don't actually know what that does. Um, so yeah, it's that. Um, that's like the stand part. I'm assuming that's the speaker behind there. Uh, so yeah, it's quite good. Obviously, I'm hoping to do a bit of detecting with this in the summer. Um, cause I've, um, I have got a metal detector. It's actually here. I'll just show you that. Um, it's, it, this is my uh, this was my metal detector that I haven't I don't really use the the handle got broken off of it as I found out maybe last week or a few days ago um, apparently Saint fell on it when it was in the conservatory and broke the handle off it can be glued back on no problem it is quite old obviously this plastic round here is actually it was had gone faded in the sun and gone a bit like perished if you like it's got a light on this one uh, perhaps you have to switch it on that would work wouldn't it there we go. It's got a light on this one, using that button there, uh, so you can detect at night time. Obviously, it's got the sensitivity control. This one, obviously, I know does work if you was to put it on something. It, there's the sensitivity control, the volume control. So, for example, if I was to turn the volume up and put the sensitivity on a bit, you can... Hold on. I am using it right. Sensitivity... So yeah, it does work. Perhaps I should put the volume all the way up. And basically, you can detect stuff. Uh, those Dell monitors. Obviously, they've got metal behind the screens. Obviously, they're not detecting glass. So that's that one. And obviously, it's got on the screen of this one. Uh, searching. And that's the search. And then it's got the battery life just there. We'll go ahead and turn that one off. Um, 
Now that's the sensitivity control where there we go, it's off now. Um, so that's the one I... I never really used it. I have done some detecting with it before. It's found a bit, but obviously because it's only like a, a kid's one, if you like, it's not very powerful. Well, now I've got the a much better one, um, I can do that. So obviously I'm hoping it's a Garrett Electronics 2814 National Drive Garland, Texas, 75041. Um, so it says push button while tuning. So I'm assuming it means push. Uh, probably maybe that button there, and while you're tuning it, uh, I have no idea. Obviously, I've never used a proper detector before, so I don't really know how to use it. Um, I believe this detector, and those of you who know, have got a detector will know that the green Garrett ones are quite old. It's probably from the 70s or the 80s. So yeah, it's probably from the 70s actually. It is quite old. So, yeah, I'm hoping to do a few videos of this. So, this is just a, a detector that I got um, from my granddad. Oh, and you can, um, like most modern detectors, you can um, plug headphones into this one. Uh, obviously, modern detectors, you can uh, change the coils. You can unclip them and put new ones on. You can probably wire up a new um, coil, even if this one couldn't be repaired, uh, even though we are going to repair it. Um, so that is just the end of the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to try and get as many active videos uh, like this done as I can throughout the... Because today, um, if you actually look out, if you actually look in my garden, we have got some sun out there today, and it is... I don't know what day it is, actually, today. I'd have to check. So, yeah, we are going to try and get some active videos done due throughout the winter. So comment, like, and subscribe, um, and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.